Create beautiful, highly converting landing pages easily with OptimizePress, the premier solution used at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the filler link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. Just recently, Google actually pulled YouTube from some of Amazon's most important devices when it comes to their actual plans to get into people's homes. Now, if you didn't already know, a while back, Amazon actually pulled the Google Chromecast from the actual Amazon store. And they also recently did the same thing to the Google Nest thermostat and also the Google Home device. So why would they do something like this? Well, it's all about competition because each one of those devices actually compete with Amazon. For example, the Chromecast competed with the Fire Stick TV device. The Google Home competed with their Amazon Echo devices. And then the Nest, this just happens to be a Google product. Now, how Apple is involved with this is because Apple TV is also not available on Amazon, but there's some changes going on there as well. And so why is this recent change of YouTube pulling out of some of the Amazon's devices so important? Well, whenever it happened to the Amazon Echo Now, it wasn't a big thing. If you're not familiar with the Amazon Echo Now, it's part of the Amazon Echo series, but it's like a small, I would say like screen that you would probably just like a tablet, okay, that you would have in your kitchen or something and you would ask it questions. And so a lot of time YouTube videos would come, so they block that. Now that wasn't too bad, but with the Fire TV stick, it's really bad because that's their streaming service device in competition with Chromecast. So if you don't have something like YouTube, which is the most powerful video platform in the world, that's a huge thing that it's missing. And so with the Apple TV, Apple just recently bought some Twitter ads to promote Amazon Prime Video. And also with the latest update of iOS 11.02, if I'm not mistaken, on the Apple TV, they'll also be promoting the Amazon Video Services. So there's this Google versus Amazon versus Apple, but they're also working with each other as well because more than likely Amazon and Apple work something out. So all of this is happening because as we get further along, it's all about controlling the platforms, okay, their ecosystems. And obviously all of this leads to money and business. Like for example, Apple tried to get rid of Google search from all of their Apple devices. They actually switched over to Bing and even tried to get rid of Google Maps, but now they're back into Google because every time Google services are running on Apple's devices and their ecosystem, they're making money. And the same thing for the iOS, you know, the Apple's um, app store where they wouldn't have an app on a store because like for example with Amazon Video they would have to pay a fee to have their app on their store and so all of this is really complex uh, but at the same time in common sense it makes a lot of it makes a lot of sense okay because in the end that's what it's all about it's about having control of your market share controlling your ecosystem even on something like uh, if you go to Google right in the future there's going to be more filtering okay basically keeping competitors products and services out now we might think that the internet is something completely open but you can't find everything on the internet even if you're on the deep web and so just get used to this with all these different ecosystems and platforms where in one case they're working with each other and in another case they're blocking services so as a consumer a lot of times you feel like this might not be fair but really that's really how the world works so if you really had any thoughts on the whole google amazon or apple thing be sure to leave that in the comments area below or if you had your own thoughts on different ecosystems and platforms and as always if you did enjoy these videos you got value out of them be sure to subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.